I love my job. I mean, I like Reds, I, I like being here, I like working here. I like opening up early in the morning. I like to work out early in the morning. I like to ride my bicycle early in the morning. I don't feel sorry for anybody who can't find time. You have to make time. Uh, and it's not easy. It's the most difficult job on earth to stay in shape. Uh, at first, everybody says, well, you like to exercise. I hate exercise, but I like the results and the way it makes you feel. My uncle was a bodybuilder and he'd come home and every time he'd come home he'd flex his muscles and all and so I got really interested in that. And I started I'd buy a little piece of equipment or I made my own equipment and started working out at my house when I was probably seven, eight years old. And uh, started putting pictures of Mr. America on the wall. That's my goal, one day I want to be Mr. America. So I kept putting pictures, no matter where I was. Like I went in the Navy and I was on a submarine. Submarines have little bitty lockers. They don't give you much room to put your stuff. And I'd put my picture of Mr. America in there. Now the guy next to me might have had Marilyn Monroe or Jane Mansfield, but I put my picture in there. So anytime I want something, I'll put a picture on the wall. And never in over 70 years have I failed. I won contests when I was a kid, and when I was in the military in Hawaii. I, I, I entered all the contests there too. So I, it wasn't just one contest, it was a period of time. And I went to the Mr. American 59, I didn't win, and the next year I did. But it, it's a good feeling to win, but you got to remember one thing, there's no money attached, no nothing. All you get is a little trophy. So you come home with a trophy, and then you got to go to work. You got to live your life. Almost everybody who won the Mr. America somehow or another went into the gym business in some shape or form. And, and back then it was just a little room with a few weights in it. There wasn't, they didn't have all this equipment that you could, like treadmills, almost didn't exist. Weights were barbells and dumbbells. They didn't have all this equipment. So that has made a tremendous difference in recent years. I'm not an entrepreneur. Uh, an entrepreneur is a person who builds something and sells it and makes money. Uh, I fall in love with my stuff. I fall in love very, very fast and very easy. And I'm in love with this business. I mean, this is my baby. I mean, I have a family and I love them too. Uh, but I wouldn't give them up, you understand? But this business is number one in my life. I'm Red Laurel, been running Reds for 55 years.